okay guys so let's get started go to configuration accept the unit the metric unit open new project space trust you can give any of the names over here check meter and kilonewton uh, as your specific unit and you must check add beam option and then finish this is the workspace right just to uncheck this option uh, go to geometry run section wizard you can uh, choose your section from here frame models uh, that's bay apply and then you can transfer this to your main page this, this is transfer right now just uh, go to general and then go to define option uh, rectangle you can give their values as 0.4 and 0.3 as their width and depth respectively for the columns and this is for the beam as beam is somewhat uh, smaller than uh, you know columns so even this case just go to add and then close now it is time to assign right now so you, will, you just uh, uh, go to select and then beams parallel to y axis uh, and just hit assign and then yes right okay now again uh, just go to okay so first of all just check click this again go to select beams parallel to x and and also beams parallel to z axis right now just go to assign yes right now this uh, property has been assigned it model has been generated now this time for support just go to create and fix support add it now just this right now go to front view now this is your uh, node cursor right now you can just uh, uh, you know select this go to assign and then yes now when you just watch in the 3d model you will get all all supports are being defined right now just go to load and definition just go to load case detail add it go to dead load load case one you can take it and get a load load case one just add it and the second one is live and load case two and just add it right and then close it just go to load case one add it now which load you want i want this to be self weight of the load self weight of that member and then member load now you can give the member load as minus 10 kilo newtons in the global y direction just close it sorry add it okay now uh, and then close it now go to second load add it now go to Floor load and we can just the floor load as minus three kilometer per meters and this to be hundred the maximum size hundred hundred now add it close it right so you have the load has been defined right you can check it as this right when you just click on that particular thing you will get the type of load which you defined over here right so now to go to load case detail again and then add it now go to auto load combination i'm from india so just uh, indian code generate loads now this is the factor of safety uh, defined now i'll choose this as 1.5 and uh, i will just uh, add it and close it right so i have this 1.5 as a factor of safety with both of these loads and i go to uh, now just go to load and develop add it right and uh, you can choose as serviceability option and this and this right and then add it close it right now you have that sort of uh, this right okay now uh, so you have defined supports you have defined uh, section properties and you define the loads right now uh, now go to analysis add it close it now go to analyze option run analysis save now this is the analysis of your model right this is the analysis and i just wait until it is uh, you know green and show done right now done and then click right so this is what you've done till now this we have done model generation support assignment section properties and uh, let me tell you that this is considered of columns and uh, the vertical of the columns and then beams the beams are parallel to x-axis the z-axis ones right so this is all about an rcc structure as we know it as composed of uh, you know columns and beams and their section respective section properties loads and uh, the supports right so uh, this uh, right this is all in this particular video uh, for further continuation of this video you can uh, check out my other videos related to rcc structure part two part three and all this part one so uh, thank you for watching and uh, please comment on it and subscribe it right thank you